Hey all, welcome to the CIO PCC and this week's top 10. It is the week of Thanksgiving here in America and so I thought, well, what could we do for Thanksgiving? And so I thought, well, geez, how about turkeys? My top 10 favorite turkey action figures. Uh, I could only come up with three figures in my collection. Of course, I didn't go all the way, but you know, that's the best I could do. And that was actually, to be honest, two more than I thought I was going to come up with. So, Let's talk about something different for Thanksgiving. How about chefs and cooks? My top 10 favorite action figures of cooks and chefs. Now, do they have to be full-time cooks and chefs? I decided no. If they were dressed that way, it was good enough. But if they happen to also be full-time cooks and chefs, they didn't have to be dressed that way, which is why Neelix here gets my number 10 spot. Come on, it was his primary function for much of his time on Voyager. Now, this is my favorite Neelix right now. I've got a couple of other Playmates ones, but this is my favorite one. But hey, any day now, we're going to get a Neelix from uh, XO6, and that's going to take that place. So, Neelix, he's definitely a cook or a chef, not wearing the outfit. Somebody who is wearing the outfit, we got to walk all the way back around over here. It's going to be a lot of walking today. Is uh, Homer Simpson. Now, you'd think all the times he barbecues, including barbecuing himself, there'd be a lot of those. There are not. Here is one from Burger King, though, where he is in his chef's hat, having set himself on fire. That's my number nine favorite. Speaking of which, he's not the only uh, father figure in a cartoon family who has managed to uh, set himself on fire. Let's not forget, we've also got Peter. And here he is after having done the same at a bad barbecue. He's going to get the number eight spot. I like him a little better. He's a little better of an action figure than the Homer version that came from Burger King. But... He's still just getting in here on the number eight spot. Character that uh, I don't even know that the character had a name other than Cook. Is from Corpse Bride. This was the cook from Corpse Bride. The chef. There she is with her dirty dishes. Her, chef's, her funky chef's hat. And her ladle. This is actually a pretty good line McFarland did. Uh, it doesn't get all the recognition it probably deserves. McFarland's done a lot of lines that people have forgotten about. But that tends to happen when you do a lot of lines. Number six on the list is another favorite chef who is not only a full-time chef, he's dressed that way, Linguini. This is a nice action figure, large. He's about nine inch, 10 inches tall. We had some other little Linguinis, of course. But this one is my favorite. I think that was a Disney store figure back when the movie came out. And he gets number six. We're cruising right along here. Halfway point number five. This next one, it's right in the guy's name. Chef from South Park. Again, there's a couple versions of this action figure of this character in action figure form both mirage and uh Mesco did one but it's this version that i prefer of the two you can see here's the mirage one over here but this is the one i like a little bit better from Mesco. so let's see that was number five another cartoon Chef. You'll notice that cartoons tend to have more of the chefs. You're not going to find a lot of Lord of the Rings or Star Wars chefs. But one of the good ones is from uh, another Simpsons figure. We got Luigi. This is a great figure too. When you have Main Street, you can put him down on Main Street. But yeah, this is a cool figure. Another one with a complete chef outfit. So he really obviously fits the... Uh, explanation of this top 10. Oh, Chef Bender, of course. We got a couple versions of him. Moore did one, but it's really this version that I love that uh, Toinami did of Chef Bender. They did all kinds of variations on Bender as part of their terrific action figure line. 
but they're getting the coveted bronze medal here for their chef bender. Now, the next one is my favorite, favorite chef of all time. His action figure is getting the number two spot, Bob Belcher. There he is. I also have him in the play set up above. I have Louise, but I only have her carded. And there is Bob hanging out with the family and with a burger in front of him. My number two. And of course, you know who number one is. Come on. <sighs> Chef is right in his name as well. Only his first name is Swedish. Here we have the Swedish chef in a couple versions from um, uh, the uh, uh, Muppets line. Here he is in a place that as well, the terrific kitchen place that that uh, Palisades produced. They did a few other versions, like here we have the Santa version and the dirty version, messy version. So you can take your pick, really. Any one of these figures could be my number one chef action figure of all time. So there we have my top 10 chefs, perfect for the week of Thanksgiving. Let me know if you have any chef action figures in your collection that I didn't think about. And until Wednesday, when I do a favorite collection, you have a great week.